Hello, Gemini. This is the Pretty Coach with the Pretty Coach Oracle messages for you for the month of January, okay? Um, I do have Daria here, so please bear with us. She's asleep right now, but she's also fighting um, some congestion. So, yeah. Anyway, um, I just felt the need to tell you guys that. Um, I'll be pulling a little differently, and I think that's the reason why I felt the need to share. All right, so Gemini, let's go ahead and hop into your reading. Overall energy for all signs, um, all 12 signs, we have North Node, Life's Purpose. It's the number 41 in the Black Moon Astrology deck, and that breaks down to the number five, which talks about change and basically catalyst for change, okay? The North Node deals with our life purpose, and guess what? Um, the North Node just so happens to be in the sign of Gemini, okay? If I am not mistaken, according to the planets. We also have the King of Swords from the bottom of the deck of the tarot that I pull for all signs. And this is this could very well be your energy or the energy of Aquarius and or Libra, your fellow air signs. But this is about strategy. It's about order. It's about clear communication. Um, it can also be about logic, wisdom, and reason. Okay. Um, also communications, media like uh, writing public speaking, radio, television, and film. Just want to throw that out there. It could also deal with divorce and separation too, by the way, guys. Sorry. And cutting off what no longer serves. All right. <clears throat> so the overall energy specifically for the sign of Gemini that we got was the Libra. I balance card and it's number 19, which breaks down into 10, which can deal with the ending and completions. Well, it can deal with completions. Okay. So there could be a relationship that literally could be coming to an end or that could be reaching its highest peak, okay? Also, it breaks down into one. Ten can break down into one, which can deal with new beginnings and new paths, okay? Or leadership with that for that matter. But the Libra card most importantly deals with all manner of contracts. So things like marriages, business relationships, um, lawyers, Okay, maybe even prison. Okay, I'm hearing for some reason paternity test as well. So let's go ahead and get more into this for you, Gemini. We have the King of Pentacles coming out here first. That's a husband energy. But even if it's not a husband or a father, this could be just someone who is able to do very well when it comes to business. Okay, um, a responsible person. Or a person who's dependable and reliable. This person could be also a little materialistic, but they, they work hard for their money. You know, they work really hard and they also could be flashy. If they're not flashy, this is just a person who really likes the finer things in life, whatever that may be deemed as. Okay. Last but not least, we have the King of Rods. Okay. So already I'm getting an energy of someone who may have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo, and also maybe Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo in their chart, as well as Libra. So all of those signs are going to be somewhere in their chart. Libra, Virgo, Gemini, um, Aries, Leo, Sag, or Cap, and maybe Taurus, okay? With the Hermit energy, somebody has been doing a lot of soul searching. A lot of soul searching. And I feel like that's what's caused them to be in this energy of, I want to be reliable. I want to be a father figure, or I want to be married. I want to take on this responsibility, possibly. Okay, and so someone I think is going to be getting ready to literally take very passionate and inspired action to make a relationship solid. That's what I just got. Let's go ahead and start to clarify, shall we? I'm going to move these cards out the way and we're going to start with the Libra Eye Balance card clarifying. Page of Swords, Two of Pentacles, and the Nine of Wands here. Okay. So I feel like someone could literally be watching somebody from a distance or bare minimum. Somebody is is um, thinking about communicating towards someone. They could be wanting to literally give something just one more chance. I'm literally hearing the biggie, biggie, give me one more chance. I, I heard that song in my head. Don't know why. That might be significant to someone. 
The Two of Pentacles could have been an energy of juggling, okay, or trying to juggle, multitasking, things like that. I also get the vibe that with this um, Nine of Wands, someone may also have been trying to protect themselves or protect something else or someone else. Let's see, another card here. We have the Eight of uh, the Eight of Swords, excuse me. There were some blockages here. You know what I'm getting? I feel like something has come to its end and it could be possible that someone's still trying to put in effort or work in the situation. And this is why they may very well feel stuck. Somebody is getting an energy of being stuck. Like, oh my God, I don't know if I can move forward. I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing here? It's causing them to doubt and second guess themselves. They may not even be communicating accurately. Somebody is wanting a new beginning. They're wanting a new beginning. They could feel emotionally blocked or they could, somebody could be dealing with emotional abuse as well. Come here, baby. Come here. What's the matter, honey? Sorry, guys. Sorry, just woke up. I'm also listening to this song by Michael Bolton. The song is called There's a Time for Letting Go. So it's very possible that this could be an energy that you guys are in, okay? Um, you could literally be, you can be thinking of seriously letting a connection or maybe a job or something go. Okay. All right. Um, let's move on into clarifying this. <clears throat> the King of Pentacles. Four of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. So already I feel like for a long time. Some of you guys may feel like maybe when it comes to work or business or even relationships for that matter or your own health, there's been some dis-ease. Some of you guys could have been waiting for a long time on some type of results that I feel like could be getting ready to come in for you guys, okay? Also with the King of Pentacles energy, it's very possible that you guys could be coming into money and you will be financially and fiscally secure, right? And it's something that you've been really actually hoping for and working towards for a really long time. Your ships are finally coming in with that. One more card for the King of Pentacles. Yeah, with the Ace of Cups, I feel like you're also possibly, you guys could be experiencing an awakening or a resurgence of love for something or someone, okay? Some of you guys could be experiencing pregnancy here, you know, you could find out that you're going to be a father or a mother for that matter. But I go by what's on the card. So there's a man here. So you could find out that you're going to be a father. For some of you guys, I feel like some of you guys are going to be offering your cup of love to someone. It's like after you become fiscally secure, you're going to be able to make these decisions that you weren't able to make before. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm going to move on. Let's go with the hermit. Show me the hermit energy. Devil energy, codependency, hands down. Codependency, lies, deception, secrets. Yeah. I feel like there were some deep and hidden emotional wounds that were triggered some kind of way that were brought up to be dealt with. Okay. During the hermit mode. Um, this is Capricorn energy, Cancer or Scorpio or Piscean energy here. But yeah, you guys went to the recesses of your mind. And you sat there, I'm hearing. You sat there and you have kind of gone through your thoughts and tried to figure out why your mentality has been the way that it was. Oh, look at this. And there's going to be new beginnings. And I think it's going to be new beginnings because you found out. There was lies. There was hurt. There was pain. There was fear. Now I feel like this person is a new man or a new woman here. With the full card, 
Baby, y'all are ready to, somebody's ready to take on life or they will be very soon. Trust in spirit. Trust in God. <clears throat> She's so cute. You're so cute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh. After a period of maybe conflict or competition. With another number five here, this is about conflict that can bring about change, okay? Okay. All right, let's get this last but not least. King of Rods, that is Aries, most notably Leo and or Sagittarius. It's Leo energy though for me. It's a very strong Leo energy. Somebody is working up the courage. I feel like after going in Hermit mode, you know who you are. I feel like you're being led by your higher self rather than just your pride and ego. Um, and now you're going to be literally a beast, okay? Yeah, I feel like some of you guys want to get married. Some of you guys are going to be getting married. Gemini, you could be dealing with the Leo or Capricorn or any of the signs that I've mentioned already. Um, or some of you guys are just in this energy of working up the courage maybe to um, propose even with the Queen of Pentacles here. That's the divine match to, and I'm seeing 1111 on the clock. It's the divine counterpart to the King of Pentacles. Three of Swords here, though. Somebody could be getting ready to... Uh, break somebody's heart with this proposal though or somebody could be deciding to do this after a period of confusion Gemini either you could have put somebody in a third party situation or someone who put you there whether it was with a mother a friend work fear or another partner one more card Oh my God, Gemini, this is your card coming out again. This is the lovers. This is going to be a choice to go ahead and unite. I feel like you've healed, okay? And man, this is definitely a card for me that I also feel denotes the twin flames, okay? <clears throat> but most importantly, it's about a divine union. Some of you guys may literally have a choice between two people, okay? Okay. Without further ado, let's go ahead and pull an oracle. Leveling up. I definitely feel like that's what you guys are doing. And it says you deserve love. You are lovable. Gemini, that has been your reading. I hope and pray that something definitely resonated with you. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Put in the comment section about just how it resonated with you. Um, also, if you're new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my readings. Okay, you guys, I love you with the love of the most high peace, love, light, and darkness, which works together to bring balance and harmony first within ourselves and then within our world. Okay. Bye Gemini.